a car mechanic or a seamstress it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's just nice to have a bit of a skill that you know this i can do and of course yeah. by having a skill you run your own business yeah so the namibia training authority regulates and facilitates the sustainable delivery of quality vocational education and training to the benefit of all their stakeholders and so right now we have jethro kwenani communication specialist from nta who's joining us in studio to tell us about the significance of the technical and vocational education the training that they uh, that they offer there and we'll also discuss their upcoming national skills competition which is so exciting and namibia's performance just really on a global scale like how are we doing Jethro welcome to 99 FM thank you so much good morning to the listeners yeah it's so now if I visit uh, the the NTN will I also get a jumper suit we'll think about it not even a maybe not even a no it's, it's a really great jumper but tell us about the Namibia training authority the NTA and what what their mandate really is Okay, uh, the mandate is a bit uh, wide, if you would. It's a broad mandate. Uh, We basically regulate the TVET sector. We also fund, in terms of training institutions, the VTCs and so on, they are funded by us. And then we, of course, also register and monitor the training institutions that offer the training in in a nutshell. Mm. Yeah. Lovely. Why do you think is the TVET sector so important in Namibia? I feel the TVET sector is quite important because young people get to learn skills which are important for life you know um i always feel despite you having your degree and so on it's always important to have a tvet trade uh, as part of your arsenal whether it's being a car mechanic or a seamstress it's it's, it's just nice to have a bit of a skill that you know this i can do and of course by having a skill you run your own business. Yeah. Yeah, that's powerful because mm-hmm. yeah, skills are very important. It's yeah. something you can fall back onto. With that said, could you tell us a little bit more about the national competition um, and its significance and so forth? All right. Uh, in September, we'll be hosting the National Skills Competition 2023 in Ongwediva. Um, the National Skills is basically used as the national selection competition for mm-hmm. the Namibian team that represents the country at the World Skills International event, mm-hmm. which will be in Lyon, France, yeah. 2024. Um, if you like, it to something like athletics it's basically the uh, national event where you select your best mm. who then compete against uh, the world's best oh wow just on, just on that point yes. how did we fare um, the other years uh, Okay, last year we basically hosted the continental one. It was only the second time it was hosted in Africa. We hosted okay. it in uh, Swakopmund. Mm. Uh, Namibia was the top performer. Hey. Uh, <laughs> away, away, <laughs> away, represent. You know. So uh, one of our competitors in the cooking competition, mm. Elizabeth Isai, she took the gold home in her category. Nice. And then uh, most recently there was a competition for cooking also held in uh, the Middle East in okay. Abu Dhabi oh. where you had the Middle East and African competitors in terms of skill skills and she took home a silver so Namibia's oh, wow. feeling quite wow. well. No, we're doing wow. great. Yeah. We're doing great. Speaking about the world skill, what what is it and how does it impact Namibia? Okay, world skills is basically a global movement started right after the Second World War where wow. uh, this movement uh basically figured that there was a lack of skills after the devastation of the world war Mm -hmm. and then they figured to rather start upscaling people with skills and to date it's Ah. a organization with more than 85 members and namibia is part of it we started uh, our membership in 2015 competing in various international competitions from abu dhabi brazil russia and so on and next year obviously uh world skills Mm. leon Mm. and i'm fascinated at how how skilled are the namibia um, youth, you know, especially in the technical and vocational education training sector? They're quite skilled. Um, let me give the example in this instance. Our competition that we host, we look at 14 skill areas. Okay. But if you go to the global edition, you mm. basically have in excess of 70. Wow. So we are still a way to catch up. Yeah. But from a country that's been a member for less than 10 years, I think getting to 14, we are on the right track. But we're great. I mean, we're taking gold. Yeah, so we, we, we're getting there. We're getting there. We have gold already <laughs> in our arsenal, so we're fine. Yeah. With that said, how can individuals and the public sector, private sector, um, help the TVEC, um sort of okay, in um, Namibia? Yeah, especially for the competition coming up in September, it mm-hmm. is a national initiative. Uh, we are calling up on corporate Namibia to basically get behind uh, the competition. They can contact the NTA via info at Uh nta.com.na just to see what packages are on offer, um, whether it's cash or value in kind. Uh Sponsorships are welcome to basically improve skills and put Namibia 
on the world map. Mm. Lovely. And just finally, um, um, Jethro, you know, back to just the, the national skills competition. How does one enter? Do I have to be part of, of you know, of obviously um, the center or are outsiders also allowed? How, how does that work? Okay, what basically happened is in April, uh, on the 20th and 21st of April, we had a selection competition, yeah. if you will, at all the vocational training centers, okay. private and public okay. across the country. Okay. And if you're a student there or if you're a member of the public that says, okay, I want to try out in plumbing, you try out. Mm. So from that, we have 158 that okay. will be competing in Nongwediva. Okay, I'm excited. Lovely. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be uh, you know, keeping a lookout. Um, and just uh, the websites, where can we visit um, the, the, the NTN social media as well? You're, you're present everywhere? We are present everywhere. There is obviously the World Skills Namibia specific website okay. uh-huh. dedicated to this event as well, but mm. uh, we are available on both platforms. Nice. Thank you, Jethro, for coming. Thank you so much. And that was Jethro Kwenani, communication specialist from the Namibia Training Authority. Expert advice on 99FM Startup, proudly brought to you by Namibia Asset Management. Namibia Asset Management, our expertise, your advantage.